Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. Well, the skies are about ready to open up on most of us out here tonight as the first wave of rain from Cindy is now beginning to approach the Ohio River here tonight. The good news this evening and overnight is that the rain won't be terribly heavy. Here's a look at radar. You can see the leading edge of that shield of rain now pushing up into the southern parts of Boone, Kenton and Campbell counties now reaching the 71 75 split. So it's now raining and Crittenden. It's raining over towards Warsaw and Vivi down towards Owenton, Corinth as well. This rain pushing up towards Falmouth shortly will be in Brooksville and already seeing rain down around Mount Olivet. That rain will reach the Cincinnati Metro by seven o'clock. So as you head out for your dinner time plans, expect some wet conditions. It's going to remain very humid too as temperatures hold in the low to mid 70s. A flash flood watch is in effect for the entire WLWT viewing area, and this runs through tomorrow night. Now, this is the reason why that flood watch is in effect. Don't hang on to the specifics of the numbers in each community, but it is certainly giving us a picture of what's going to happen here. We've been calling for a solid one to three inches of rain across a good part of the area. I would not at all be surprised to see someone end up with maybe a little bit more than that, possibly as high as about four. So that's the concern for flash flooding. Here's a live look outside right now. Certainly ominous looking skies, a very tropical feel to the air. 79 degrees right now at the airport. We've got a little bit of a southerly breeze at the moment. Temperatures around the area north of the Ohio River. You're still in the 80s because clouds are relatively thin to the south of the Ohio River. The rain has moved in now. You can see Dry Ridge, Owenton down towards Verona as well, all falling back into the 70s. Most of us will fall back into the mid 70s as the rains begin. So let me kind of break down the timeline. As I mentioned, the rain tonight not going to be terribly heavy. The greatest risk for flooding will come after the morning commute tomorrow after about eight or nine o'clock through the afternoon hours. That's when the remnants of Cindy will combine with a cold front that will really help to squeeze and wring all that tropical moisture out of the air. That's when the bulk of our one to three inches of rain will fall and maybe some higher amounts by tomorrow evening. That rain will begin to taper off as we start to dry out. So here comes that moisture with Cindy tonight. You can see it. The center of the storm still back around Shreveport, Louisiana. This will push up into Tennessee, eventually up into Kentucky, as that combines with a cold front to help bring us locally heavy rain. Here's a look at future cast doing a pretty good job. Here's 530 rain approaching the Ohio River overspreads the area again off and on through the night tonight. And as we get into tomorrow morning, I don't think for the morning commute there will be a lot of rain falling. It's going to be very damp and there still may be some scattered rain showers. But watch what happens as we head deeper into the morning hours, mid morning, and then we begin to approach lunchtime. See how that rain becomes much heavier. And this is the window when the risk for flooding will be the greatest before rain begins to taper off tomorrow night. And I wish I could say I could keep the weekend completely dry, but I'm going to dry it out. We still got a threat for showers, though. 70 for a low tonight with off and on rain. It will be breezy and then for tomorrow locally heavy rain could even have a few rumbles of thunder in there only into the 70s. Here's your day planner 71 at 8 a.m. And then that rain becomes heavy late morning through the afternoon hours. Here's your seven day forecast. While it won't be a washout this weekend, I do keep stray showers in the forecast both Saturday and Sunday, but expect a lot more sunshine there and it will be cool for late June. Look at those highs next week only into the mid 70s with nighttime lows possibly dipping back into the upper 40s and mm. low 50s. Sounds great, Kevin. Thank you. As Kevin was saying there, here